Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to enable official FSR frame generation in conjunction with DLSS Upscaler version 3.8 using Nitex Free OptiScaler mod in Cyberpunk 2077. This guide is applicable to PCs with RTX GPUs only. For this game I have already shown you how to use Nucam 9 and Luke FC's FSR frame generation mods. The problem with those mods is that they produce some graphical artifacts when we enable FSR frame generation. For example, ghosting around a fast moving vehicle, floating papers flickering, double images being produced around the left and right edges of the display. But these issues are not produced in the case of official FSR frame generation implementation, but it has its own issues. The developers basically used FSR 3.0. This means we cannot combine DLSS or XCSS subscaler with FSR frame generation and FSR 3 upscaler in this game completely butchers the image quality produces a lot of texture shimmering around trees and vegetation even around fences and meshes basically fine textures DLSS upscaler resolves most of these issues even XCSS upscaler does a better job than FSR upscaler in this game unfortunately we will lose access to NVIDIA reflex when we switch to official FSR frame generation implementation so I'll be enabling low latency mode from NVIDIA control panel when LLM is combined with VSync it will cap the game's FPS to a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. My monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. Enabling LLM and VSync will cap the FPS at 2 to 5. If your monitor supports up to 144Hz refresh rate, this FPS cap value should be at 138. The game comes with TLSS Subscaler version 3.5. I'll manually update it to version 3.8.10. You can download the DLL file from Tech Power Ups website. I'll give its link in the description. Just click on download here then click on any of these servers download will start i'll show you the base performance first make sure hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting is enabled right click anywhere on the desktop then click on display settings then click on graphics click on change default graphics settings from here enable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling setting if your monitor supports vrr enable the setting as well now I'll enable vsync from nvidia control panel Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings, from the drop down bar, select Cyberpunk 2077, scroll down until you find Low Latency Mode setting, there it is, set it to Ultra, scroll down to the end, from here enable VSync, apply the settings, my monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable a few G-Sync related settings, click on Setup G-Sync here, enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode, Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync indicator. Click on display here. Check this setting G-Sync compatible indicator. Apply the changes. In game settings, I'm using the game's ray tracing medium preset. Upscaler set to FSR 3 using its quality preset. We'll be forced to use this upscaler when using FSR frame generation. Sharpness level set to 0 0.3. Frame generation disabled for the time being. I'll disable a few post-processing effects like motion blur, chromatic aberration and film grain. Rest of the settings are left as this. High to ultra. Video settings resolution set to full HD. Windowed mode, windowed borderless. VSync off, no FPS cap applied. When we enable official FSR frame generation in this game, we'll lose access to NVIDIA reflex. I've disabled it. That's why I'm using LLM. We are in. I am standing right outside V's apartment building in Little China. Here FPS is around 55, 55 to 60, hitting the GP bottleneck. Just observe this tree. So much texture shimmering is going on around its leaves. Now observe these mesh textures. Again, texture shimmering is going on. And this is when I am standing still. FS upscale of Three to sixty. I'll install the mod now. Toggling FSR frame generation setting with OptiScaler mod installed can cause the game to crash. So before installing the mod, it's recommended to enable the in-game FSR upscaler and frame generation settings. Apply. I'll be using version 0.7.7 .7, preview 4 build of OptiScaler. It allows us to activate OptiScaler mod via FSI inputs. You can download this build from OptiScaler's Discord server. 
I'll give the Google Drive download link in the description of the video. Click on the .7z link here. Now I'll be installing the mod. Just open its archive file. Select and copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file. Go back. Paste them here. Extraction process complete. Now we need to change the name of nvngx.tll file to any of OptiScaler supported file names like version, txgi and winmm. CET and reshade mods come with their own version.tll file. That file can conflict with OptiScaler mod. If you inject the mod in Cyberpunk using its version.tll file. So I'll be changing the name of nvngx.tll file to winmm.tll. Now just open nvngx.ini file. I'll be disabling OptiScale FSR frame generation. Just need to set use fg swap chain to false by default it's set to auto. Click on file, click on save, close. Now just copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Now open bin folder, open x64 folder, paste the mod files here, there's the game's exe file. Replace. Now I'll update DLSS upscaler. Just open the upscaler's archive file. Copy this DLL file. Need to paste it in the same directory where we pasted the mod files. Right here. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Now we don't need to install frame generation ghosting fix mod. When you run the game for the first time with the mod installed, it can crash. Do not worry. Just restart the game. Here in the menu, FPS is capped at 225. LLM is working. In game settings, upscaler FSR 3, frame generation FSR 3, video settings, you can see don't have access to reflex and I'm using official FSR frame generation. Now I'll enable OptiScaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. You can see DLSS version 3.8.10 selected. From this drop down bar, you can change the upscaler, XCSS, and FSR 3 upscalers are also supported. Source of upscaler FSR 3. Close. Load the same sequence. Yeah, FPS increased to around 100. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Just check out this tree. Its leaves. Texture shimmering is fixed. All thanks to DLSS subscaler. Mesh textures. They are fixed as well. No texture shimmering is going on. Observe these floating papers when using FSR frame generation mods. These floating papers exhibit some graphical artifacts not present in the case of official FSR frame generation. Time to steal a vehicle. Fast moving vehicles produce coasting when using FSR frame generation mods. Driving around the city is very demanding. These cops will come after me like a pack of dogs. Just observe the vehicle's HUD. No ghosting is present. Okay, I'll just change the upscaler now. Switch to FSR 3.x. It's basically FSR version 3.1.3. Now just observe the boundary fence in the background. So much texture shimmering is being produced. 
I'll just switch to XCSS version 1.3.1 Less texture shimmering than FSR Image quality is looking slightly softer than DLSS but good results So that's it with the video guys I hope you find it useful Thanks for watching and have a nice day